All right, welcome back to Autodesk Maya 2017. So now that we have our high poly uh, cement barrier and we have our low poly, as you can see here, if I unhide uh, the low poly and hide the high poly, uh, now it's time to unwrap this guy. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So when you're unwrapping, the main thing you want to think about is where are the seam lines going to be? Uh, and the whole idea of unwrapping is that this is a 3D object that uh, you know you're projecting essentially a 2D texture onto. So to kind of think of it in that way, you're going to be able to uh, essentially separate out different parts. So for this object it would be the end pieces, primarily the bottom we'd have to separate out and these uh, inner pieces here. So you'll see this in action in a sec. So the first thing I'm going to do though is get the UVs going on this thing. So I'm going to go to the UV set here and uh, under the modeling and, and go down to um, uh, camera based projection so as soon as I choose this what will happen is um, it'll, it'll choose this from this angle here the UVs and if I go to UV editor so UV UV editor we'll see it here and uh, here it is in our UV scene so this is kinda like those ortho views in the sense that you can middle click and and drag from side to side. If you right click you can zoom in and out but you can't uh, rotate. There's no rotation because it's sort of a flat image here. So now that we have the UVs here now we need to start breaking apart. So the first thing we're going to do is select some edges here. So I'm going to right click on the object, go to edge mode and uh, I'm going to first I'm going to separate the, the bottom here. The bottom pieces so um, if I click on this and double click. I basically select that edge, click on this, and basically what I want to do is just kind of go around and double click or click until I get this whole bottom piece here. And it's kind of tricky in the beginning to kind of figure out, you know, where do I want to put these seams at? Because uh, it is kind of strange in the beginning. Uh, if you're not, if you're new to UVs. Uh, it's just a little weird to sit there and figure out where do I want to make these cuts. Um, but basically you don't want the seams to be you know, right in front of you, which is important. So bottoms are great to carve away. And so now you can see this edge line here. I basically uh, select this entire edge along all the way around here. And in my 3D view, in my UV here, what I can do is uh, shift, hold the shift key down and then right click and go to cut UVs. So as soon as I do that, this uh, now is an island down here and I can I can test this out by right click and go to UV, select a UV of some sort and then right click and go to shell and then you'll see these shells here and as soon as I click on it with the move tool so you can use any of these transform tools here. As soon as I move up, you'll see here, here's the bottom uh, piece that I just removed. So now I want to get rid of uh, these inner pieces because you can't really uh, flatten those out with the big uh, piece on this on the front here. And then we're going to cut the sides here. So the same process. So in the beginning, I like to just do all my cuts and then we'll talk about how to finesse them uh, through unwrapping. So going to select edge again, going to double click around here, hold the shift key, just double click, double click, and double click. And so now I have that whole edge on this end. Now you can do more than one at a time. So if you know specifically where you want to go, which uh, basically I want to go around all these edges here. So I have that end and that end I'm going to have to cut. So again, go back to UV, hold shift, and then right click which gives you that little whip and you're going to choose cut UVs and now you can see these are cut now so again if I right click go to UV select a UV then right click go to shell and then I can click on these shells and kind of move them out so got these two shells and now I got this piece so now I got these little inner pieces to cut so uh, let's go back here so the little pieces on the inside we're going to right click go to edge mode and what we're going to have to do is double click and select this whole edge and on the other side hold the shift key and double click and then to hide the seam as much as possible I'd probably 
because you can't have a perfect circle like this it wouldn't unwrap properly you need to cut it uh, in order for it to lay flat so I would add a seam here where it would cut across kind of think of it like folding paper that you have to unwrap so I'm going to choose that one I'm going to do the same thing on this side so again double click here and I'm going to hold shift click in here and then hold shift and double click there and then go back to my UV again hold the shift key down and then right click and choose cut UVs so again I can right click choose UVs select some UVs here that activates it then right click choose shell and then when I click on shell you'll see here I've got this big shell here now I have these little ones so now I've got everything kind of separated out which is pretty cool so now we need to unfold these because right now if we turn on uh, the preview mode for UVs which is this little guy here you'll see the coloring some of them are overlapping UVs some are um, flipped the wrong ways like this one versus this one uh, so this is the correct color for you know the correct direction and then of course you can see how these are overlapping because it needs to be unfolded it's properly cut but it just has to be unfolded so in order to unfold properly you can choose the unfold option here as a little widget here but I like to go to the polygon set and go down to uh, the unfold and look at the options just real quick basically set it to unfold 3d and um, here you can choose your map size so if you want it to be 4k for example you could choose that and then click apply um, I like to do mine at larger formats just because maybe I might choose to do it for something else so uh, you never know I like to reuse assets so right click choose UV and then right click uh, choose shell and then again I can move this around so you can see here now how that's top the main the main units kind of flattened out really nice so I can select this now and uh, since I have the settings set up right I just click this unfold here and voila it's unfolded pretty good click on this one click on the unfold click on this one click on the unfold now you'll notice these two little pieces have gotten really big we're going to correct that in a moment here click on this one uh, click unfold and then click on this one and unfold so this is sort of the process you go by first is unfolding so we can kind of move these pieces around so you can see them uh, and if you grab accidentally a bunch you can click out and then click on one kind of move these islands around I'm going to zoom out here just so you can see now you can see they're all the same color everything's you know just the way it should be uh, now what we can do is we can stack them and scale them properly in the what's called the UV space which would be right here uh, you can kind of think of a grid from 0 to 1 so that's under the polygon set here and it is under layout and you can go to the options and choose some options here under layout so I've already have some options set up here um, but what you can do is go to edit and reset settings and see what it looks like um, looks like uh, it's reset so now what I can do is under down here uh, one of the important aspects is remember the two little pieces that are quite large here when you're uh, unpacking your UVs you can choose shale pre-scaling so I can click in this and choose preserve UV ratios and that will basically allow it to uh, you know line properly there so that'll be really good and then let's see some other options here you can have them rotate the shell sometimes it's important to rotate to get the maximum amount of space and then uh, if you scroll down here you can choose your your uh, texture map size again I'm going to choose 4k here now the padding is actually really important here uh, typically with textures if you have them right bumped up against each other you'll have texture bleeding so we want shell padding between each ones and you know basically I can choose uh, however many uh, pixels I want between them I'm going to choose probably 32 for the shell padding and then tile padding is how, how much padding um, in that square so if you bump up against the edge you'll again have some issues with the texture so I like to add a little padding there so I'm going to type in 16 pixels there and move this up a little bit here so you can see so these are my settings here so now what I can do is I can zoom out I can select everything here in the scene here and basically click apply and voila now we have everything nicely neat 
in this one little area of 0 to 1. Now I can finesse things. You can see like this texture, I mean this UV here is a little bit tilted a little bit. So I could hit E and just rotate it a little bit, uh, just a tiny bit to kind of even out. Any of these, if I want to move them around, you know, um, this is kind of like the uh, Maya's best guess, but you can move them around and if you need to, you can kind of rotate them a little bit. Like this one seems like it's a little bit off. I kind of like to rotate just to even it out here and then switch back. And that looks pretty good. So um, in order to see the texture being applied, you can check on this little checker box here. And what this will do is it'll demonstrate approximately what these UVs will look like. Let me close out the layout UVs. And you can see here how these checkerboard are kind of laid out. And what you're looking for is nice, even uh, UVs. And you can tell these are really even. I mean, this looks good overall as I'm looking around here. There's no distortions, really. What you're looking for is if there's any major distortions in the textures, then you'd have to adjust and move around the UVs, perhaps do some more unwrapping or something else. But um, I'm pretty satisfied with this looking around here. Now you can clearly see where there are going to be seams. So, you know, you can see here we have uh, definitely cut lines between here and here and here and here. But what you can do is uh, bring this into a 3D application like Mudbox and uh, be able to actually apply your textures where they do line up really well. So that's pretty cool. So let's right click, go back to object mode on this. And that's pretty much it. So our UVs are good. We can turn off the texture preview here. This would be really good. Now, if I had multiple objects, I may try and condense more of them into this UDV shell. But as you zoom in here, you'll notice there's nice spacing between each shell, which are these little islands here. And you can see there's spacing uh, around the UV because, again, you might have what's called texture bleeding. Otherwise, if you're painting the texture, like in Photoshop, for example, uh, you might get some of that texture bleeding off into one of these other components. Uh, so that's basic overview of unwrapping this object. We are pretty much ready to go. Uh, until next time, see you soon in Autodesk Maya. Cheers!